Hello, welcome to our channel. Exciting news, we got a Glowforge. It's a laser and grazer uh, cutter. Great for artisans, crafters. Very heavy though, very heavy. We have about 125 pounds. And today we're just simply doing an unboxing for our Glowforge. You need a good sturdy table um, for this glow forge. It's recommended that you have a nice size table and it can support the weight, 125 pounds. This right here is an inline filter for cutting inside or indoors. Uh, you have an option, but this right here is sold separately by glow forge. The other option is venting out the window and that's a fairly decent option, especially in the summertime. Here we're just taking off the plastic, making sure that the table is uh, secure enough for this tool that we have here. Okay, so let's get, unpa get to unpacking here. On the inside, there's a lot of foam and protectants, so we're gonna remove the packaging that's on the inside of the machine. By the way, this Glowforge was packed very well. One note to mention, make sure you keep all the packaging materials if you order one. This right here is the laser head and the lens. One wipe, so it comes with one wipe for you to clean the lens. This right here is the lens tool, and you'll use this whenever you need to remove the lens to clean it with the wipes. This right here, what I'm pointing to is the glass tube, and this is where all the magic happens. That glass tube right there. Here, removing the pens, the clips, the foam. So when you, when you get your Glowforge, it's very secure, and when you open it up, anything on the inside that you see orange, Remove. Pretty straightforward. Glowforge really made this pretty simple. This rail right here, in order to get this, this orange clip out on the side, you see me pushing this rail out the way. You have to do that in order to get that clip out. That's the rail clip. Uh, you need to connect the ribbon cable to the lens, like I'm, I'm doing here. Just take care not to touch the lens. This part right here has a, a magnet on the inside, so you kind of like snap it in place right on the carriage rail wheel, or the rail. Just make sure it's, it's nice and secure. And make sure that the tape the ribbon tape right there is nice and flat. And just remove, move the lens up and down. Make sure it's free to move. Here we're opening this up so we can place in the crumb tray. And this is where you'll put your materials on. Sorry for the angle here. Could have got a better shot. Next. Attach the hose. This is right here is an exhaust hose, similar to what you would put on a dryer. So just connect that. Make sure the clamp is, is very secure on the back. Don't want no fumes, gas, smoke um, leaking out. Plug in the the filter here, and you know this filter is optional. Um, I think it'll be pretty good if you're working inside. Um, but like I said, you can always vent running this part outside. And so this side right here, is, this is the other end, opposite end of the uh, is also you'll clamp that on as shown here to the filter. Now 
nets. You'll plug in the power cord to the power source and outlet. And this right here is our setup. Uh, fairly nice setup. Like a, this table, we got it from IKEA. Uh, we have the optional window vent set up. We actually got that from either Amazon or Home Depot. Important, this lens tool, that blue tool, make sure you put it somewhere safe. You'll need it. Don't want to lose that. This here was a simple unboxing. Um, hope it helps anyone who get to Glowforge because if, if not, you'll need to <laughs> go online, read, uh, maybe check out some other videos. So this one, we just wanted to make it concise and uh, show you what you need to do in order to unbox the Glowforge. In the next video, we will connect it to the internet, set that portion up, choose a project or two for the first cut, see how it works. And then after that, we'll be working on other projects. And uh, here and there, we'll be using the Glowforge for our leather and cloth products and other projects that we do. So anyway, until the next video, take care and um, thanks for watching.